In this lesson, we will discuss about locate profile, mirror profile, and alignment option available inside structural member tool. There is one feature I already applied by using a structural member tool. Go inside it. I took a standard NC inch type rectangular tube and size 3 by 4. Zoom in here. This is my line and this line is started exactly at the center of this profile, which is 3 by 2 by 0.25 profile. If you want to start this profile from different point, you can do that. This is just only one group. Inside this one group, there are two lines are showing, which is this line and this line. For this group one, go to bottom. There is one option called locate profile. Select this button. Now I have to select any one point. If I want to start from corner, select this corner point. Now this full profile is start from this corner. If I want to start from this bottom point, I can also start from this bottom point. Even if I want to rotate this, I can rotate by using this option, which is called rotational angle. Change this to 30 degree and enter. It will rotate based on this point and this line. Let's say change this to this point and change this to 45. Now this entire profile will rotate based on this line. It will count this line as a axis. Press OK. Now I want to create one new structural member. Activate this structural member tool. Select angle iron. Now select 3 by 2. Inside this group, select this line. And here you can see this is my angle. This side is 2 inch and this side is 3 inch. If I want this 3 inch at bottom, not at top. In that case, I have to use this mirror profile option. Select it. It will just mirror at bottom, which is showing here, which is 3 inch. As well as if you want, you can change axis. Right now, this is horizontal axis. Change this to vertical axis. Or if you want, you can just rotate it. Unselect this option. And let's say this is at this moment 0 degree. Change this to 45 degree. Now, this line will create 45 degree with 